You may already know you can visit Hobbiton from the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit movies. However, did you also know there's a much more exclusive version of the tour where you'll feast like a hobbit at the Green Dragon Inn and wind down the night with a lantern lit walk through the Shire? We're going to take you along for the ride and show you what might be the ultimate experience for a Lord of the Rings fan. To get to Hobbiton, it's about a two hour drive from Auckland. It's pretty interesting as the movie set is just sitting in the middle of some farmer's land out in the middle of nowhere. You'll arrive at the gift shop, but when your tour time comes up, a bus will take you and your group on a short drive to Hobbiton itself. Uh, there is a scene in the Fellowship of the Ring where Frodo is waiting for Gandalf to arrive. When he stands up on the edge of the ridge and accuses Gandalf of being late, that particular scene was filmed in the gap between the old pine trees. That is where uh, Gandalf informed him a wizard is never late. Frodo Baggins, nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. <laughs> We made it to Hobbiton. Yay! We're on the banquet tour, so we're going to do a tour of the facility, and then we're going down to the Green Dragon for dinner. In total, we have 44 Hobbit holes. There would be about 300 Hobbits that live here. However, if any of you spot a Hobbit, I'm probably going to ask you what you've been smoking because they are fairly elusive. In fact, we are a completely organic movie set. If you see it growing, it is definitely real. And if you would like to have a garden that looks exactly as Hobbiton, nice and organic, you just need to hire six full-time gardeners mm -hmm. and a landscaping team at least 12 strong. Everything about Hobbiton is great except this. I hate kale. So we met it to Bag End. So you can either spend $150 in the gift shop or $10 on Amazon. <laughs> Which one do you think I went with? <laughs> Up here too though, the tree that you see above Vilbo's house, this is a new type of tree. It is a real fake oak tree. <laughs> it has a steel frame, expanding foam on the inside, and the leaves are of course plastic. And not far out from filming, they didn't like the colour the leaves had faded to because there was a delay in between it happening. So they actually got people up in cherry pickers and stuff to uh, spray paint all the leaves a different colour. And of course the only trouble we have now is when the leaves come off. Well, wow, that's it. So what they were doing for a few months last year was pulling it apart uh, to relief it. And by the time that's done, there's near a quarter of a million leaves wired onto the tree. And on a really windy or wet day, it looks quite creepy because the rest of the trees go hard out and it just goes... <laughs> Scalaber of Hobbit. You can whip the whole tree stump and stuff. Now, if you're taking the normal set tour, they'll finish out by taking you to the Green Dragon for a complimentary drink and then take you back on the buses to leave. But since we're on the banquet tour, we get a little extra time to explore while they finish setting up dinner. Normally, this place is absolutely packed with people, but we're the last tour group to be here, so everything is just completely empty and we have everything to our own. All right, so we, we made it to the Green Dragon Inn. We're just waiting for them to finish setting up the banquet, but we happen to get brews that were made just for the filming. So we're gonna have a little drink and then we're gonna eat. Cheers. Cheers. So we're going to do a countdown from three to one. Three, two, one. That was just incredible. There's like more food than you could ever eat there. <laughs> Everything you'd ever want. 
And it's still a few days till Thanksgiving, but we're considering this our Thanksgiving Day feast. But like a thousand times better <laughs> than a traditional American Thanksgiving. We, we're thinking every Thanksgiving from now on is going to be a Hobbit-based Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> The standard daytime tour is two hours long and 89 New Zealand dollars. But if you're able to snag one of these evening banquet reservations, you not only get an incredible feast, but four hours to take in all of Hobbiton for $199. We have a cherry and apple crumble, pavlova, butterscotch sauce, custard, bliss balls, bacon roll tart, and a cinnamon and honey yogurt. Excellent! How do you build a lift to 100 and more? ring. so cold, but I must keep eating for the hobbits. Now the extras that were involved in filming, they were mostly friends and family of the cast and the crew and they had a real three night party out here. When you see it in the movie, there's food, there's ale, there's dancing, there's fireworks and that is exactly what happened. The only thing that was mildly disappointing was the beer was brewed for filming and it was nicknamed a sobering thought. Uh, because it was only 1% alcohol. <laughs> they were meant to be filming from 9 o'clock at night till 5 o'clock in the morning and someone did the math and realised pretty quickly that a real beer was going to mean some very, very drunk hobbits by the end of the night. Uh, so they instead went with the 1% option. Experience the movie set like this is something that even for us here at Hobbiton is incredibly special. Uh, there are very few places like this in the world. This all has all of the magic of middle earth seeing it like this just makes it that little bit more real when you look at the movie set all lit up it's almost like the hobbits have had the same feast that we've just had and they're stumbling back to their nice warm cozy hobbit holes mm. thank you so much for choosing to come to spend tonight with us i do hope you've uh, made some wonderful memories you're going to remember this evening for a very very long time so what do you think? Is this something that's made it on your bucket list now? Let us know down in the comments and make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this.